and just you know this idea of getting a sensation for turning your upper against the resistance of your lower that's yeah, something. I'm going to incorporate that into so when I work out I'm going to in your exercise that program I want you to take a medicine ball and hold it and turn it core tight yeah, you get better at letting it spin back. The ball is going to be more better at letting it out. Yeah. That'll just, it just, yeah. Right now I'm just weak in there, so I can't hold it. So, so you go like this. You do five reps, turn it in, and you go normal, turn it. See how I'm not moving my lower body at all? And you're extending your arm. And then the cable cross, you go like this. The cable machine, you pull it from here. Look, you pull it in. And across and up. In, across and up. Don't move your lower body. See how I'm not moving it? Yeah. I'm just turning my upper body. Because you don't have a lot of then you move probably thirty percent of the public. And then And then with K vest, oh yeah, that's for people that are sitting in a uh, paralyzed. When you let the club swing up to hundred percent, then you have my name is Jim Estes and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this by the way is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club, you can put a rod, alignment rod in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club Put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top, and then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstisGolf.com if you have any questions.